there folks, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you can make it because today we've got a fun and tasty freeze-dried snack for you. We're gonna be making caramel popcorn M&M bites using our Harvest Right freeze dryer and of course, caramel M&Ms. Let's do it. The star of our show, caramel M&Ms in nine and a half ounce bags. I wish I could have found bigger bags. I think sometimes when you get it in bulk, even bigger than this, you get a better price. Uh, we bought this off of Amazon Fresh, and it is a brilliant combination of caramel filling with that crispy outer M&M shell. And one way to do this recipe, and this recipe is incredibly easy, is to just simply lay them out on your freeze dryer tray. Now, the problem is that they will expand like popcorn, and that caramel will stick to each other uh, once they expand. And so the trick is to separate the M&Ms in such a way where when they expand, they don't touch each other. And realistically, there probably needs to be a little more space um, between mine because mine will absolutely touch when they get a little bigger because they'll roll around and things like that. Not a big fan of this method, though, totally honest. This is what I prefer using. It's a silicone mat that comes from Harvest Right. You could buy it, you know, as an accessory. There are 84 little spots on the silicone mat, and you can, you know, get them to fit your small, medium, large. And I'm not sure if they have the extra large yet, but I'm sure they eventually will. And we're just going to put one M&M per spot. Each one of those spots can hold a tablespoon of liquid, FYI, in the future. And this is what is left over after our nine and a half ounce bag. So we've got probably, you know, a little over nine ounces worth of M&Ms on one tray. And so we'll probably end up going through about four and a half bags total. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set up the Harvest Right machine and then get back to this right now. So on the home screen, we're going to hit Customize. We're going to go into candy mode. So the initial freeze time and the extra freeze time are irrelevant features when you're in candy mode. So it doesn't matter what they say. You could leave those alone. Candy mode starts at 130F, and that's where we're going to put our temperature. The higher you go, the softer your candy is going to get, the more it's going to puff up. And uh, that could be a good or bad thing, depending on what you're looking for. So you're definitely going to have to experiment a bit. Uh, I like this particular setting for M&Ms. On candy mode, extra dry time represents total dry time. So whatever you put here is the amount of time it's going to dry. I'm going to put four hours because I've got to run an errand and I won't be back until, you know, maybe three and a half hours from now. But the thing about M&Ms is they normally take two and a half to three hours. It's actually very quick to do this particular uh, candy. All right. So let's go ahead and click save. That'll bring us back to the home screen. We'll now hit start and the initial setup is going to go into a cooling phase. So right now it's 66 Fahrenheit. That temperature is going to drop and it's basically letting me know, hey, wait 15 minutes before we load the trace. Now, once that 15 minutes is up, notice the temperature dropped a bit. We're going to make sure that we click candy mode on. So we just touch that. We're going to put our trays into the freeze dryer and we're going to close the valve just like it said. Now we've got five trays already ready to go. No big deal. And towards the very back of the machine, there's a little valve that's going to allow the machine to make a vacuum. And so you definitely want to make sure that you close the valve. Otherwise, you'll never get to vacuum. So we'll go ahead and close that off, close the valve, and go ahead and hit continue. And there we go. Now, what we're looking at here is the option to warm the trays. This is an interesting option for candy. If you hit start, that means that you want to warm the trays, and then you get to pick for how long you want to warm the trays for. If you hit skip, the vacuum pump is immediately going to kick on, and the inside of your chamber is going to create a vacuum as the temperature slowly rises to whatever the preset was. Warming your trays has everything to do with softening your candy, which is going to give you a unique texture once the vacuum pump kicks on. So notice the default time says one minute. We're going to leave it just like that. And once we get to our temperature that one minute countdown begins. And that's how warming the trays works. So it's like having your candy in a very low temperature oven. It's gonna soften your candy. This is something you're absolutely gonna to have to experiment with. I would definitely start with one minute and then see if you like the outcome and then increase that number until you get the type of texture that you're looking for. If your candy is too soft and the vacuum pump kicks on, it can have a negative effect on the texture, just FYI. All right, let's do a time lapse of this Eminem, and we'll get back to you.
Our process is finished and check this out. Our caramel popcorn M&M bites look amazing. Look at that. That just looks fun and delicious. Incredible, nice, puffy popcorn caramel. And you know, from time to time, you will have some that don't pop just like popcorn. And with those, you can either eat them up or you can, you know, tap them with a knife or a little fork just to crack the shell a little bit. And then the next time you make this snack, you can pop them back into your freeze dryer and they will expand and open up. They just needed a little bit of help. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this out of the tray. And this is another thing that I love about these silicone mats. They just come out without even sticking. Just no effort whatsoever. None of them stick together, and that's exactly what you're looking for. Uh, when they do stick together, you will somewhat mess up the texture of the candy. And here we go. Our caramel bite looks incredible. Let's taste it. All right, guys, we've got our caramel popcorn M&M bites, and these look great. I mean, check that out. The caramel is just puffed right on up. We still have the M&M on either side, so let's give it a taste. <laughs> That's incredible. The caramel completely transforms after being freeze dried. I mean, it expands and goes from chewy to very light, very crispy. We still retain every bit of the M&M. Chocolate doesn't freeze dry, and so you still get that coating, you still get that layer of chocolate, but that caramel expands just like popcorn and turns it into really something completely different, totally fun. That's great. Now, I'm gonna show you a couple ways on how you can put these up and then just snack on them a little bit at a time. When it comes to storing this candy, you wanna keep it in a low moisture environment. Moisture will affect the crispiness of that caramel. And so one way to do that is to just put it in a vacuum seal type bag and put a few moisture absorbers in the bag and then just give it a seal. Notice my bag is not vacuum sealed. You definitely don't wanna vacuum seal your bag. Otherwise it's gonna crush all that caramel and you're just gonna end up with the dust at the bottom and that's certainly not what you want. So just give it a seal, couple moisture absorbers and you should be good to go. Uh, the other method that I like, especially if you're just gonna be getting into it from time to time, is putting it into a mason jar. You could just add a moisture absorber to the jar and then close it off and that would be fine. Or you could use this particular vacuum sealing apparatus which puts the contents in the jar under vacuum and I found that you don't need a moisture absorber if you do that. This unit is super easy to operate. Turn the power on, a vacuum pump kicks in, and then it starts to remove the air. Once it's done, all you got to do is take it off the top of your jar uh, very carefully, and you'll notice here that we have a proper seal on our lid. That's not going nowhere. And then we'll just go ahead and put the uh, top on, and that's it. Yeah, these are great. It's wireless. You could charge it. It comes with all that stuff. You could do wide mouth and uh, regular mouth uh, mason jars absolutely brilliant. I'll put a link in the description box if you want. If you want to open the jar and you don't want to ruin that lid, which is, you know, important because you can reuse it, this particular tool allows you to open that seal without ruining the rim or putting any dents in that particular lid. And that's absolutely perfect so that you could reuse it over and over again. And there we go. No big deal. Let's go ahead and take another little bite. This is so tasty. And that's how you store your freeze-dried caramel popcorn bites. One of the things that I love about doing candy is that it doesn't take very long inside the freeze dryer. Unlike some of the other food that we've done that can take 48 to 60, even 70 hours, freeze dried candy can generally be done in three to four hours, you know, depending on the candy, maybe a little bit longer. And this short production time uh, poses a really interesting opportunity for those of you who are looking to recoup a little bit of the money that you spent on your freeze dryer because Freeze-dried candy sells for a premium. It is incredibly easy to make. I mean, you don't have to do anything other than go out and buy the candy, uh, pop it in your freeze dryer, and the end result is gonna be, you know, this absolutely, completely transformed, amazing candy. And you could do a whole variety of candies. Matter of fact, I think we'll probably throw some different candies in there so that you could see for yourself. Things like Jolly Ranchers and Skittles and Werther's Originals and Gummy Bears and all this really great stuff. All right, folks, thanks for watching. If you have any questions on the Harvest Right Freeze Dryer or want information so that you could check it out for yourself, I'll put a link in the description box below. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you think we should freeze dry next. Thanks a lot for being here. Give this video a great big thumbs up if you enjoyed it or got anything out of it. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. A lot of great stuff on the horizon for 2023. I do not want you to miss a single episode. Thanks a lot for being here. Bye-bye.